What's going on guys? Welcome back to another review. Today we're taking a look at Pam Wildero from the 2021 Cars Mainline. So Pam Wildero appeared in the Cotter Pin scene with Lightning, Cruise, and all of the rest of the legends. Sweet Tea was up there, Pam Wildero and a few other band members were playing their music as all the other cars at the Cotter Pin watched, which was a really cool scene. We've already gotten one of the band members, Rich Hurry, which we'll compare in a little bit. But yeah, here we have Pam Wildero here. I think one of the coolest band members, especially because she's got the snare drum, she's got the hi-hat, and she's got the bass drum. The whole drum set, so that's really cool. There's the, her picture. There's some other 2021 diecasts you can get. I'll be reviewing Hot Rod Louise Nash in a little bit, so hope you guys are looking forward to that one. Let's go ahead and open her up. All right, so here's Pam Wildero out of the package. She looks really cool. She's got a smiling expression there. And as you can she, as you can see, she's got her drumsticks all the way up because he's probably either playing the drum or the snare drum. So it's kind of cool. She's got her forklifts all the way up as she's playing she's playing the drum, which is really awesome. She's got this blue color. She's got a little bit of gray there on the top. Looks like a classic pity. And if I'm being honest, I'm not really sure what this thing on the back is. I mean, it kind of looks like a water jug. Maybe because they're playing music for many hours. So maybe he just needs like a little drink every now and then. I'm not exactly sure. I mean, I'm not like a really huge music person. So I don't know if it has anything to do with that. But yeah, it looks like a water jug to me. And it's all taped up around on his back. But yeah, if anyone knows if that's something else i guess you can tell me in the comment section below but i'm definitely not sure about that but you can see there's a bit of a darker blue shade here on the back while the rest of them is a solid light blue i mean even his wheels are light blue as well which look really nice and yeah, definitely very nice detailed die cast because i mean we even have three drum pieces here i mean here we've got the we've got the bass drum which has sweet tea's band name on there sweet tea and the legends which is really cool and then there's the t for sweet tea really awesome there are the little legs for the bass drum which look really cool stand up on its own like that and we can see all the detailing around there on the bass drum which looks really awesome i definitely like that Here's what the snare drum looks like. You see here it's got the three legs like normal. The casing around it. Just as detailed as the bass drum here. Really cool. Definitely like it. And then here is the hi-hat. Which of course also has three legs there. And is just a little bit taller. Yeah, it looks really cool. It kind of I kind of thought at the beginning like when I was first looking at this that you could take it off. But... Yeah, I don't think you can. I don't think it's supposed to come off, so we won't force it. But yeah, that is the full drum set with Pam Wildero. So that's really cool. I'm glad that we're getting band members from Sweet Tea's band, which is really cool. I mean, we've gotten Sweet Tea. Here's how she looks next to her or him. I'm not exactly sure if Pam is a guy or a girl. No speaking lines in the movie, so... Not 100% positive on that, but yeah, both look pretty cool together. And then here's how it looks next to Rich Hurry, which was a release earlier. Definitely another awesome diecast. He's got the guitar there. Really cool. Kind of reminds me of the heavy metal Mater releases, Eddie and Rocky. Some cool diecasts as well. But yeah, in this case, you know, we've got a drum set, not the guitar, so... But, you know, both complement each other in the short little scene that we get in Cars 3. So, definitely good die casts. Looking forward to the other band member that hopefully we'll be getting somewhat soon, maybe next year. But yeah, you never know. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this review of Pam Wildero. Another Case G die cast. This is my first review of a Case G die cast. So, I'll be reviewing more to come. So, stay tuned. For more Case G stuff, I have more reviews planned to make, and 
my next video will be another reenactment. So hopefully you guys are looking forward to that and we'll see you next time.